just a little stop off at uh, Harwood Forest. Uh, we're going to go up and have a look at uh, Winter's Gibbet, which has um, got some really old history about uh, a guy who murdered a, a local lady uh, and was hung there at the gibbet. Uh, the gibbet that's actually there now is just a replica. But, uh, we'll, uh, go up and have a look and uh, put the drone up and we'll some drone footage as well. As you can see, we're approaching the gibbet, and uh, somebody's put a Ukrainian flag on, which is uh, very apt for the situation at the moment. And uh, as I say, respect to uh, to the Ukrainians, they're doing a sterling job fighting for the country. This is the gibbet. Rothley Castle today in Northumberland and uh, we're going to have an impromptu overnight camp up there uh, and as you can see uh, there's Rothley Castle in the distance and uh, we'll head up there take a nice slow walk and we'll get set up hopefully we'll get uh, a good night a good sunset and uh, and a good star lapse as well so come with us Rothley Castle is an 18th century medieval folly built to resemble a castle and it was built for the walk with estate in Northumberland. Rothley Castle is situated approximately five miles south of Rothbury and two miles north of Cambo in Northumberland. It is a peaceful and tranquil area with lots of craggy outcrops for uh, local boulderers to practice their rock climbing skills. I'll just pan you around you and see the start of the, the start of the crags there, just slightly in the distance towards the edge of the forest. Some good little bivy sites in there as well. We're moseying on up and we'll get up to the top of the crag and we'll come back to you shortly when I get to the top and inside of the castle. This is the view from the top of the crag looking back around towards the, the coast. We were going to go up the coast today, but um, there's a massive sea threat on due to the temperature. So I thought we'll come inland and come to the uh, come back to the uh, the castle. Yeah. Beautiful day, absolutely beautiful.
And as you can see, the castle's just starting to come into view now. Another five minutes or so, and we'll be there. We'll better have a good look around it. I mean, these are just the views from just this location. Looking right across the Harwood Forest there in the distance. And then across to Simon side, right in the far distance above the top of the forest. And then back out towards the coast. Like I said earlier, it was a glorious day. 30 degrees at the minute. Couldn't really ask for any better of the day. Not much of it left now, but what to you is still in pretty good uh, condition. Sun casting a bit of shadow. That's the main part of the main entrance of the castle. and have a look and see if we can get upstairs. Thank you. 
from the first window on the uh, looking north. Not much of it left, mind. The staircase goes up. Bits of the castle. And that's the, the South Cape looking all the way around. And a spectacular view they had, they must have had when they were up here. Very bleak in winter, I can imagine. Well that was Rothley Castle, um, I'm going to head down now and try and find a, a little spot to camp and uh, get myself a brew on, um, I'm ready for a drink now. I'll uh, come back to you guys when I uh, find a suitable spot. Well I think I've found a, a nice spot, there's a lovely tree just in the distance, so I think we're going to head out to that and see if we can get a pitch down here. It's looking pretty promising. Yeah, it looks good.
guys. Well, a bit of a change this morning from last night. The uh, the weather certainly came in last night. Uh, very foggy, very damp, but uh, that was a good sleep. So we'll, we'll get up and uh, and get some coffee on. Show you around. We were joined by somebody last night who had a hammock set up in the tree, so I couldn't get that pitch, which would have been perfect underneath the tree. But this is what we were walking up to this morning. <laughs> it's the total pea super. Well, hey ho, let's get a brew on and, uh, and get started. A uh, big, big shout out to Des Catties for his uh, little stove, a little alcohol burning stove. Um, absolutely brilliant bit of kit, really lightweight. Um, I'm going to go over and check his site out because he's uh, he does some really good videos. That's a coffee boil. First, same old, same old brag toffle in it in a foil in the bag. Give it a dry. Yeah, not sure what to do today. I think we'll go, go for a walk in the Harwood Forest, I think, today. It's only up the road. Let's see if we can find something there. Invest in there. Uh, rubbish everywhere. Oh. A bit of sugar. Right, get some breakfast. This one's gonna eat the knife, I think. Mm -mm. 
Brad Cadofflin, absolutely beautiful. Right, I'll get this eaten and then come back to you in, uh, in a moment when I've uh, finished time, ready to pack away. As you can see that's us all squared away now and as always leave no trace and uh, I'm gonna head off for the day um, hopefully if I come back to you uh, it'll be something interesting if not I'll leave the video here um, we'll just wait and see what happens but so far up to now thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you soon take care now bye bye